The Blue Jackets come into this game after a shootout loss two nights ago in Washington against the Capitals. It was a very well-played game, especially between the pipes. <laughs> a battle between Sergei Bobrovsky on one end and Braden Holtby at the other end. The Blue Jackets finally broke a scoreless tie in the third period with a goal by Seth Jones. But a little later in the period, Dmitry Orlov scored and tied the game. It eventually went to overtime where there were numerous chances, especially for the Blue Jackets. And then it comes to the shootout, and that's where the Capitals prevailed, Jody. And I thought that was too bad because that three-on-three -three overtime was so exciting. That third period, the Blue Jackets came out. Seth Jones with that goal. It almost like, like it seemed like the Blue Jackets just came to play for that period and in that game, but didn't get that extra point. Well, it was a total team effort by the Blue Jackets, something that we'll have to have again here this afternoon. And one of the guys that is in that mix is Lucas Sedlak. He had spent a couple of weeks injured. He came back, and in his first game back, he played on the wing. He moved back to center in the last game. That's where he'll be again today, and he says that's where he's more comfortable. I was thinking a little bit too much, so I, I felt a little slow, lost. Uh, I didn't uh, have the puck that much, so uh, I like it better in, uh, in the middle. We see a lot of guys moving up and down and around the lineup, and for Lucas to te be tested on the wing, it's a good thing. John Tortorella with his team already in the playoffs. He's got a couple injuries. Test these guys out, but Lucas loves the center ice. The Philadelphia Flyers are a team that is fighting for a playoff spot. They are still trying to get into that second wild card spot, and defenseman David Savard says they're going to bring their A game against the Blue Jackets today. No, I think they'll, they'll come out strong. I think they want to get a good start. And, uh, you know, when in their building, they always do. And I think they'll try to do the same thing here. But we just got to come out with a, with a good, good, strong start from ourselves and uh, get the four check going, and we'll be good. The Blue Jackets have been exactly where the Flyers are right now so many times. They've got to respect the position they're in, and they will tonight as they host this team that is so desperate. The Blue Jackets had the day off yesterday. They watched the Penguins pick up a point as they lost in a shootout to the New York Islanders. It's got to be a helpless feeling on those days you aren't playing and probably can't wait to get back on the ice today and control your own destiny. Yeah, it, it creates a lot of urgency. I think the guys are happy that it's a 2 o'clock uh, game here today at Nationwide Arena. You get right into the rink, you get right at it, and they're at a, fighting this team that, uh, in Philadelphia. It's going to bring a good game, so I think that's a good thing, too. They don't mind the physical game, the Columbus Blue Jackets, so look for this to be a little bit of a fun fair here today. All right, let's look at some of the key players for the Philadelphia Flyers. We'll start with the former Blue Jacket, Jake Voracek, who comes back here today. And then a couple of guys that are having really good seasons, and probably the reason this team is still in the playoff picture, Braden Shen and Wayne Simmons. Yeah, Wayne Simmons went to the All-Star game this year. He's got 29 goals on the season. He's a guy that really hangs out in front of the opposition goaltender. So in front of Bobrovsky this afternoon, Wayne Simmons will be there all the time. He's got really good hands and great speed. Braden Shen is a guy who's, well, waited to emerge. And this season he's come onto the scene. He's productive. He's all over the ice. He's got great speed and really unpredictable. He's a guy that throws big body checks. you got to keep your head up on Braden Shen. And then Jake Forcheck, the big Czechoslovakian or Czech-born player. He's a guy that uh, has really come into his own. Big body, speed. We love Jake here in Columbus, but not this afternoon, Jake. Shut him down here at Nationwide Arena. Today is Fifth Line Appreciation Day as well, and you've been on the ice in these sold-out afternoon games late in the season. Your team's going to the playoffs. What's the buzz going to be like today? And it's 75 degrees outside. It's so great, Bob. This is a playoff atmosphere. The players are excited and I think this team has to have fun and enjoy where they're at right now and this is a way for them to enjoy it and interact with the fans. So enjoy your afternoon here at Nationwide Arena. All right, that'll do it for the Rank Report. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. Enjoy the game.